Today on Let's Fish TV, we're here on Lake Fork Reservoir. Guys, this is one of the big bass lakes of the country. We're right here in the springtime. Now we got some wind, we got some clouds, and that should make it some pretty good fishing. We're hoping to catch some really, really big bass. Now, since we're here in the springtime, they're gonna be on beds. Uh, that's one of my favorite ways to catch them. We're gonna try doing a little frogging in the morning, and then we're gonna go sight fishing later on in the afternoon. Hopefully we can catch some of those big Lake Fork bass. Stay tuned guys, Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That's a big one right there. <laughs> it's time for the only program that brings you real time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. You ever caught a fish that big? No. <laughs> Got him. Not the day. Ooh. There you go. Another redfish. Got, Got him. It. Now, that's what Let's Fish TV is all about right there, guys. Welcome to Lake Fork Reservoir, home of big, big bass, guys. This place is awesome. It's about 27,000 acres. It's located right here in deep east Texas. I mean, this place has it all. It has some of the biggest bass that have ever come out of Texas right here in it, guys. That's what we're going after today, big bass. Large mouth, we're gonna go try to catch as many as we can and as big of ones as we can. Also, we'll have this week's fishing report from your local region, from our insider reporters. All right, guys, I'm gonna get the boat launched, get everything set up, ready to go for today. While I do that, I'm gonna send it back to the studio for your weekend planner. Hi, everybody, and hope you guys have been catching a lot of big fish. This weekend, the Salooner Tables are predicting good game fish activity Saturday and Sunday. Look for those prime morning hours to begin around 9.09 .09 on Saturday and 9.45 Sunday, with evening action kicking off at 9.34 Saturday and 10.10 on Sunday. Depending on your local area, expect the sun to rise around 6.38 and set around 8.13, and evenings will feature a moon that's 18% visible. Make sure to keep up with the latest fishing adventures and tips from Let's Fish TV by joining us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget Andrew's doing an Academy tour, so look to our social media pages to see when and where he will be next. Guys, this is the land of big bass. I mean, this place is legendary across the country as possibly one of the best bass lakes in the country. So that's what we're here to do. Go catch as many big ones as we possibly can. Um, this is one of the few places that you can literally catch a 10 pounder any day you come out here. So that's, that's kind of what we're going for. Uh, we got a fairly good day. Wind's gonna blow a lot. Uh, we got some clouds and stuff, so hopefully it'll be a good, a good fishing day. We're here in the springtime, so there's fish in all stages. We got pre-spawners, post-spawners, and fish on beds. So we're gonna kinda try to figure out what we're gonna go do, and hopefully have a really good day. <laughs> there we go. Lake Fork Giant. Not bad, not number one. That did not take too long, guys. On the old popping perch. I mean, I mean, crushed it. It's not one of them Lake Fork Giants, but it is a good one. I mean, for right off the bat, this is what we come to Lake Fork for. These aren't even big ones, and yet, this is awesome. I can catch these all day long. Big old four pounders, this is great. And if they're gonna eat a popping perch, a frog like that, I can do that all day long. Lake Fork was impounded at around 1980. Um, this place was built just to grow big bass. They did a, a great job with it. Texas Parks and Wildlife, um, they, from day one, they set out to just, it was just a fishing lake. I mean, they wanted to grow the biggest bass, not only in Texas, in, in the country, and they, they darn near succeeded. And so uh, this place is still pumping them out. I mean, it has, I can't even tell you the number of fish over 13 pounds. Uh, I think it has more 13 pounders come out of Lake Fork than all the other lakes in, in Texas combined. So it's a really, really special place. You can come over here and, and four and five pounders across the country are big fish. Here it's just another fish. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love catching those, so I, I can do that all day long, but that's how good this place is. So when you come here, you can expect to catch fish like that 
on a like just about an average and um, yeah that's why this place is so fun to, to fish Hey folks, it's time for your Carolinas report. This week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina, the leader in water sports on the Grand Strand. Want to get you out on the water. Want to make sure you have fun. Want to make sure you live like a local. We can do it all right here. Our fish finder fleet, silver tuna, sidekick, new inlet princess. It's all right here if you'll visit crazysistermarina.com. But I'll tell you, I want to talk this week about the Grand Strand Fishing Rodeo and I'm sitting here with my partner, Russ. This is my man. He signed up for the Grand Strand Fishing Rodeo. Youth, women, all of you professional anglers, novice rookies we don't care we've set the grand strand fishing rodeo up for everybody we've got monthly contests between six saltwater species three freshwater species you can catch them anywhere long as you're in south carolina you can catch them anywhere we want you to come down and have a chance at one of our incredible grand prizes which include costa rica trip with charters or a african safari going down and enjoying all the beauty down there in Africa. But I tell you, you've got to get signed up. You got to go to TrilogyOutdoorsMedia.com to find out more information. Click on that Grand Strand Fishing Rodeo and get signed up. You want to come down now because this month, Spanish mackerel, bluefish and flounder are inshore species and they are going off. Whether you're fishing inshore and nearshore, the Spanish mackerel or the jetties, they're at the reefs, but the flounder, are thick they're in the inlets cherry grove our good friends up on the north end of the grand strand they're having a lot of success right now live mullet live mud minnows if you're able to get those mullet get out there bigger mullet bigger fish it's just how it works but also don't forget about the good old artificials that you can get out there and catch them with too and i tell you the voodoo shrimp don't overlook it for flounder they're incredible get out and enjoy some of the best fishing that we have in the Carolinas over the next month. I promise you, you won't regret it. Book a trip with Crazy Sister and I'll tell you, Russ, what? This is your Carolinas Report. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. I got a big old hole in her. I set the hook maybe a little too hard. Oh, we got her though. That big one. Look at that. I might have got. I might have set the hook in it too hard. I, I got a good hook set, but man, I created a big old hole in her. She'd be all right. What's really cool, man? She's got. She's eating something. It's got a big. I don't know if you can see it. Got a big tail sticking out of her. So you come to Lake Fork for, sell full of eggs. Everyone always asks about catching bed and fish. Didn't hurt anything. That fish is still all full of eggs. It hadn't spawned yet. Anytime you catch a big female like that, it hadn't spawned on a bed. So you let her go, she'll go right back to that bed. Don't hurt a thing. You know, there's a male in there too. We're gonna catch him as well. But just kind of frogging down the bank, happen to see these two. Um, you know, this, this male should maybe bite. You know, I, I shook it off a couple times. It's sitting right in there. Let's see if I can catch it. It should bite on this one cast. Um, man, you know, this time of the year, it kind of gets hard sometimes. Um, fish get on beds like that you can see probably spent you know over 100 casts flipping at this one fish and I finally just got her to react she got up there on the bed she really wasn't ever on the bed and I finally got her up there just a fun way to catch catch big ones this time of year I mean I love it side fishing to me is one of the most fun ways to catch them almost boat flipped it Try to get in the boat. In the mouth as well. My little bad one. Let him go as well. We'll go right back over there. That female is already back over there. I can see her right there. Didn't hurt a thing. 
good old fork bed fishing. Bed fishing and frog fishing. I can do the two things and spend the rest of my life doing that and I'll be just fine. Gotta get me another rage bug. I think we're gonna go back to frogging some more. And then I'll, what'll happen is, I'll just go out there and, and, and frog down the bank like what we're doing. And if I happen to see one, that's just what happened there. I happened to see a bed, see a fish on there. I didn't really see the female. I saw the male. So I kind of hung around for just a, a, about 30 seconds. All of a sudden that female, I could kind of see her swimming around out there. It's still early in the morning. Um, shoot, it hadn't even gotten light outside, but I think we're gonna find some more guys. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorenz, the ultimate fishing system, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism, Let's Fish on Alabama's beaches, Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Woo. Look at that one, guys. What a day on Lake Fork. Not another bad one. It's another Lake Fork. Average fish. Pretty cool though. Right in the mouth. Sun finally starting to pop out, man. It hadn't popped out all day long. All right, let's get her back in. So my setup is, is pretty simple. I've caught basically all my fish. Even, even my popping perch fish was on the same rod. Uh, what I got here is, uh, it's a lose rod. It's a 7.3 rod. I'll be honest with you, it's one I had them made for me. I'm trying to get them to come out with it. Um, I, a lot of guys want not that stiff of a rod. They want some of these rods to, to fish with. But when I come down to places like this, like Lake Fork, you're catching giants. And if you can tell, you see when I, when I load up on them, when I got the perfect bend on them. And so when you're fighting six, seven, eight pounders, you need a rod that, that works for that. So I've got a 7.3, it's a heavy action rod. I got it on a Super Duty 300. So I have 30 pound fluorocarbon on here. It, it really doesn't matter. I just don't want to break off. The fish don't ever care. Uh, I ha and I have it just on a, a regular old haymaker hook and a 5 8 ounce weight pegged. But like I said, I want a reel, this Super Duty 300, I want a reel that, if you can tell, I have the line all the way to the top. I mean, it is packed on there. And that's just because I, when I stick them, I'm trying to reel them in. Guys, it's, a, it's me just trying to stick them as hard as I possibly can. And if you can tell, I haven't retied, done anything like that. And uh, yeah, and catch all those fish on the, on the same setup. Never have to change anything except my rage bug. Hey y'all, welcome to my favorite part of the show, the Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. This segment is brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Armisen with Ugly Fishing. You can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. You can book online as well as some money saving opportunities on the homepage with Salt's Gone, LureNet.com, and Pure Flats Fishing, creator of the Slick Lure. Slick Lure is a great product to use right now. I talk about it a lot. Just a great time of the year to have all three styles of lures, the Slick Junior, the Little Slick, and the Original Slick. Have you some uh, quarter ounce jig heads for your Slick and your, or for your Slick Junior and your Little Slick. Have some owner uh, four alt beast hooks for your Slick, uh, for your Original Slick. That's gonna be the, the, the riggings that you're gonna wanna use. These are gonna be great lures for speckled trout in the weeks to come. Uh, target these speckled trout in deeper reefs around shell and rock, uh, as, as well as all the way up on grass flats and oyster flats in the shallow waters of the Alabama coastal and the Alabama areas and the Mississippi areas. Uh, numerous species have just shown up, Spanish mackerel jacks, uh, a lot of sharks starting to show up. There's a lot of nearshore options starting to arrive in the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. 
Uh, and then in the Georgia area, those guys are still targeting redfish in the creeks and rivers, as well as the triple tail starting to show up along the beaches. And that, and that uh, ground mullet, or as they call the sea mullet bite, is really improving as well. Hey, y'all, thanks for checking out this week's report. Y'all remember to only keep what you need, leave the rest, and God bless, guys. Another fork, another fork, big one. What a day, guys, to end. She ain't giving up yet. Ain't giving up yet. Look at it. Woo. Look at that one, guys. What a day on Lake Fork. This place is unreal, guys. I mean, you're not gonna come out here and catch 50 a day, but when you catch one, they're all big. I mean, what a day. I, this has been one of the best days I've had in a long time, man. Lake Fork is just an unbelievable lake. Man, guys, if you want to come have some fun and just catch big ones and maybe have a fish of a lifetime. I mean, most of the guys around here have fishes of lifetimes when they come here. This is the place to do it. Guys, with all the technology going on these days, one of the things that's still forgotten about sometimes are, are power poles. I use power poles every single day I, I get on the water, whether when I'm loading my boat, unloading my boat, beach my boat, stop in shallow water. Right here I'm sight fishing, so it's perfect. Um, it, it's just, it's one of those things that's a must have for me. I, I can't go fishing without my power poles. If you notice, I have my, my key fob on. Uh, I have this just so I can work it remotely right here. The reason is that sometimes I get in a spot on the, on the boat where I'm not by some of my buttons, I need to do it instantly. I've got two buttons up front and I also have some ones that I can come right here. So if I'm driving and I want to power pull down. So it just makes it easy. Usually a lot of times when I'm sight fishing, I always have this on because when I'm going, it's bad, but I don't want to look down and, and hit the button. Like I can just hold it right here. And as soon as I see something, I just drop them. And so power poles, man, uh, they're just, they're not just for sight fishing guys. They're for everyday fishing, anytime in shallow water, especially when it's windy like it is today, you can stop on a dime with them. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Have fun out there. Power pole, total boat control, balls out. Made in the USA, heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. Rely on, challenge your limits. This is the male, guys. I mean, even the males are big. That's what's really cool. I mean, look at that male. That's a, that is a great looking male fish. He bit earlier, they're the male. It's not a horrible one. It's, it's semi, just as spooky though. Oh man, this is the male guys. I mean, even the males are big. That's what's really cool. And they fight. I mean, when, when you go up there and catch a six pounder female and then turn around and catch one over three male. I mean, look at that male. That's a, that is a great looking male fish. It, what I mean by that is that's just these fish that are just, I mean, they are built the right way down here. Pretty awesome, like fun. This is this is one of the funnest lakes in, in the country, man. It's so cool. You ready? Got her that time. Big 
big old black tail on her. Light rod. God. That's our height. That was pretty fun. That's what happens sometimes when you go light rod on Lake Fort, but sometimes you just got to make it happen. That's all right. I made it happen for a little bit. I don't mind losing one. We've had a great day today. It's pretty cool. A five pounder up there, Garden Fry. Cut on the little rage bug. Big rage bug, little rage bug. Still catches big ones. It ain't that big. Still not a little bad one on fork. I'm gonna be the smallest one of the day. Still was fun. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lake Hartwell Country. Catch the feeling. Lose, feel the difference. Strike King, tie one on. And by Glacier Outdoor, outdoors since 1982. Here's today's Right Stuff presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Today on Lake Fork, I basically used two things to catch most of my bass, but this right here, this did most of the damage. What I got basically is a rage bug, Strike King rage bug in the regular size, uh, rigged it Texas style, okay? So I got like a half ounce weight, a five aught hook, got it paired with a, a loose rod, a loose reel, a 300 series reel, and this is kind of a, a 7.3 heavy action rod with about 30 pound uh, fluorocarbon on it. I, I did this this way, because I, I was flipping on beds and I, there was some stuff around there that I was worried about getting them out. The other thing is this, if you notice, I didn't catch any small ones, Lake Fork is full of giants. So I wanted something that really, really sets the hook hard. I got line that's not gonna break and I really can like hit them as hard as I possibly can and get them to the boat. Man, never lost really a fish on this setup. Next thing I use today is, is my favorite, guys, the Strike King Poppin' Perch. I throw this everywhere. If y'all have seen me before, I've done some TV shows before, I'm always throwing the pop and perch. I know I can always get a bite on it. Had, had two good bites on it today, caught one really good, nice one. Uh, the pop and perch always, I can always count on it to get a bite. I don't care if it's in the springtime, the fall, whenever. Sometimes they're on beds. This morning we had about a 30 minute window with a shad responding. And it seemed like when those shad moved through, I picked this up. Call me a really nice one. I hope this helps you catch more fish on Lake Fork Reservoir or any lake near you. Get a pop and perch, Texas rig rage bug, should help you catch more fish in the springtime. All right guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for joining us. I hope you learned how to find and catch more bass here on Lake Fork Reservoir. Until next time, good luck out there.